Hey guys, it's Paul Gomez, Gomez Training International. The topic today is proper utilization of the Blackhawk Serpa holster. A number of years ago, I wrote an article titled the Blackhawk Serpa Damming Review. As you might guess from the title, I was not a huge fan of the holster. I'm still not. Fast forward a couple of years, I was tasked with providing training for a private group out of one of the NASA facilities, and they were issued the then new Blackhawk Serpa duty holster. Along the same time as that was going on, a friend of mine was the lead instructor at the Rogers Shooting School, and he was having a bunch of military guys come through using the Serpa drop leg holster. And he and I were both having issues with how to properly teach this holster. We put our heads together and came up with a model that uh, has been very successful for both of us. That's what I'm going to share with you. What we did is we took the index clear release model from the Rogers School and came up with a way to apply it to the Serpa holster. This is what this looks like, guys. You'll notice on this holster, I've taken a white marker here to paint in this shelf to give you a little bit of uh, visual clarity on what's going on here. This is a part of the holster body. It does not move. This is the Serpa lock. This is the pivoting lock mechanism that locks the gun in the holster. Index clear release is a three-step process that gets you to count one of draw stroke. On this holster, the way this looks is this. My thumb is flagged wherever the hand goes deep in the tank of the pistol. Full grip on the gun, I index on the holster body. I index on this shelf. From here, I roll my finger, much like rolling a fingerprint, flat onto the Serpa lock. This disengages the lock. This is clear. I've cleared the locking device. And then I apply slight upward pressure to ensure that the holster has released the gun. Index clear release. At this point, I know the gun can continue moving forward and I draw as normal. So again, that process is this. We index on the locking device. We clear the locking device. We release. We ensure the holster has released the gun. Why are we doing this? If I come in here and I hit the lock and thought I had, you know, cleared the locking devices, and I go to draw the gun upwards and it doesn't come, I get very frustrated. The tendency is to shove the gun or to shove the button with the tip of the index finger. When you do this, that finger tends to continue curling inward, winding up on the trigger as you're snatching the gun up, and things get very, very loud. If you're lucky, they get very, very loud in front of your feet. So to maximize the likelihood of a successful release of the gun from the holster, we come in, we index, we clear, we release, and then we move forward from there. If you stick with that model, index clear release, that is the most effective way I have found to use this holster. Again, I hope you found this video worthwhile. Please check out our website, www.gomez-training.com.